Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, please subscribe to my channel. I'm happy to have you here. I'm happy that you clicked on this video and that you're actually watching it. And if you have been here for a while or just subscribed, I appreciate you guys so, so much. I mean, it's just words cannot describe. I mean, I, I love making YouTube videos. It's so good for me. Like it's so therapeutic. I absolutely get so excited when I when I film it and you can probably hear it because every, every single video I start with, I am so excited to make this video because I truly am. But yeah, I'm rambling again. This is actually right here is my A6 Stalogy, which is so chunky. Well, this shouldn't even be in here, but this is kind of how I carry it. That's why I really wanted it to be true to how it looks on a daily basis. I've never done anything like this before. So this might be a little unorganized, but it will be very authentic because uh, this is just kind of a start. I just started with my A6 Stalogy. I got inspired by watching lots of videos on YouTube and this is kind of what I do. I binge watch <laughs> planner videos and makeup videos. I feel like I'm missing that creative outlet and this is what I get with planning because, especially in this A6 Stalogy, because I get to just make it my own and I get to just use a lot of stickers. I can draw if I want to, which I cannot draw for, to save my life, but if I ever wanted to, I have space to do that in there. A lot of people have B6 Stalogy, that's the most popular size. I wanted to get A6 Stalogy just because I wanted something smaller to actually just throw in my purse and have it with me. I'm trying to make this a catch-all planner where it has everything, like my health, my finances, Danny's homeschool, which is not really homeschool, it's distant learning they call it, because he's actually enrolled in regular school, but they just don't, are, they're not open for classes yet. So they do everything online. Technically, it's like me homeschooling him because I sit there with him all the time. And like my work, my to-do list, everything, household, everything goes in this planner. My brainstorming, my YouTube ID, video ideas, and somewhat of a schedule, which I'm trying to still work on. Same thing with my Instagram, because I have like three accounts, which is a little too much. I'm sorry, I'm playing with the light because I'm trying to figure out what's the best light. Because this um, actually, this is my Foxy Fix cover. It's like the perfect fit cover. It's A6 size and I am not sure what the name of this is because I got it in a mystery sale and I absolutely love it. It's more suited for like February because it has a little heart and it's kind of red, but it's also good for fall and even winter time because it is a little like that cherry darker red. And I like really wanted to use this cover because I think it's so cute and I absolutely just wanted to like have a place to use my charms and stuff like that. Um, I made this myself, just kind of buying different little charms here and there. Just a little closer look at my charms right here. Just like different ones that I really like. Okay. There's a lot of them in there, so I just don't, I don't even know if I should do like a little individual show or not. No, probably not because it's going to take too long. So this is the top view of my Stalogy. And this is the side view. I only have a few tabs. These I actually got um, on Amazon. I'll link it down below. And they are Avery tabs. And they're like nice and fall colored too. I have a few things here. So basically this is my Ollie clip. Um, this apple is from Scribble Prints Co. And these like little fall thingies, um, like little die cuts is what you call them, are from Hobby Lobby. They're like, they were in that value pack that I got for like $2.50. There's multiple of them. Like same thing with this pumpkin spice latte. Oh my God. I'm sorry, you guys. This might be a lot of video, like thump, lots of thumping and jumping and hearing voice play up, upstairs because Danny has his friend over. So they're a little busy, but they are actually playing and I hear them getting louder and, out, and louder. So you're going to hear them probably in this video. This card, this little card is, um, this says fall in love. And this is from Scribble. Yeah, you see, I'm having that difficulty again. Scribble, sp <laughs> seriously, Juliana, Scribble Prints Co. There we go. And I got it. It's like a little TN kit that she makes. And I got a few of them and I really like them. It comes with vellum and acetate and all these die cuts and all, all the cute stuff too. Then I hold like little tiny stickers here that I could use on like daily ba basis. And... I don't know. They're from various spots, like various shops. This is Sweet, sweet Kara's Designs. I really like her stickers. 
and she also has a lot of these like little tiny stickers I truly do use them it's nice I like them so I just picked a few that I really like and I keep them in here because I know I'm gonna use them and this is actually uh, planner Kate weather stickers and I, I've tried I'm trying to keep a track of weather in my planner also oh god this is falling out you know what? I'm gonna take this out and I'll show you what this is I just basically just cut all kinds of things this is from SM plants like a freebie from Facebook this is another freebie that I who's this from oh plan with B which is like she has a lot of awesome freebies if so if you sign up for her blog it's awesome like she's just like this is all from her that's reminders this is also like a freebie from Facebook group I'm signing up to all these Facebook groups and I basically have a lot of freebies I rarely purchase anything I print everything myself and I mean like inserts or all these like little die cuts and calendars and all that stuff I totally forgot where I got this from I think it's a shop on Etsy and just use my label maker um, for like shipping labels and I printed it on there and then this is just a paper it was in a paper pad from Michaels this is from Scribble Scribble <laughs> seriously scribble prints co um it's like in that tn kid michaels 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 all that is mostly most of it is from michaels or joanne's like this you probably saw me whole and this is from simply gilded like a little journaling card i cut it all down to size because i want to use it sometime in this planner but unfortunately it's getting really chunky over here, this is a little um, folder that I got from the 1101 site when I purchased my Hobonichi. The, it came in a pack of three. That's actually, it fits so nicely in here. And I hold again, I hold all these stickers that I use on a daily basis in here. And I just kind of tuck it in there. By the way, this these sticky notes are from Scribble. You see, this is going to happen to me a lot. Scribble Prints Co. Um, it's very nice. It's cute. It came in that kit, um, Traveler's Notebook kit. These, like acetate and melon, I printed myself, and I honestly use like freebies. This is again from. Oh yeah, this is the plan with B. You guys have to sign up to her blog if you want to get like lots of freebies because again, this these are just like super cool freebies from her, like this leopard design. This is not from her. I forgot who it's from, but I'll try to find it. I'll link it down below. I love this abstract art type of thing um, I didn't do anything to this front page I still could potentially do like a washi tape type of thing I've seen most people do that or I could just like add a little bit of like stickers or vellum I might do like a character sticker type of theme here because I do have a lot of character stickers um, that I haven't been using much in my Erin Condren because I don't have space for it if I use a kit this is also from Scribble Prince Co Mm, from that TN kit and I think this TN kit was like fall themed this was a freebie from hmm wonderful she has so many freebies it's crazy like you can probably build your whole planner just using her freebies and uh, she has all kinds of inserts again this is from her I'm just keeping track of some birthdays that are coming up or you know because I started using it in September and so end of September. Now this ca little calendar is from Printable Kate. It's a freebie on her website, which is again awesome. I I'm trying to use as many freebies as I can find because I really don't want to spend too much more money on my planning hobby. As you guys have seen from my hauls, I've done enough damage to my pocket. Um, purchasing all these planning supplies just a sticker each sticker a day just to represent a little memory of what happened that day this is from the TN kid the full TN kids from Spr Scribble Prince Co and uh, we have the vellum and the acetate kind of uh, pair uh, this is a little period tracker that I can't remember where I got it from I don't think it's a freebie I'm pretty sure it's it's from one of the Etsy shops this is actually a freebie it's from any plans printables and it's a sleep tracker so she has the steps tracker there and she also has some other cool freebies if you um, just check her website out again I am not PRing for any of these websites and companies I am just telling you guys what I got because I really like to share especially if I find a good deal which is like freebie is the best deal you can find I do want to share that with you guys I mean 
I'm tracking my sleep, which is really nice because now I get to kind of see the pattern. And then I'm also tracking in my um, journal how I'm feeling that day and whether I have any pain or headache. And also I'm tracking whether I feel sad or happy, like just tracking my mood and tracking overall sensation and health status. Uh, so yeah. Um, and then, then I'm going to check like, cause I'm tracking weather in this planner too. So I can see whether it correlates to when I went to bed that day or the weather or anything like that. This is the mood tracker that I'm trying to stay on top of and fill out. This is uh, like a little sticker from one of the, it was like a sticker that I purchased from Etsy shops. Now, um, Valum from Hobby Lobby. And this is actually a little, looks like a journaling card, but it was just one of the papers from the paper pad that I got from Michaels. And this little clip, again, I made myself, just bought these giant clips and uh, a few charms. I just put them on there. I think I really like the way it looks. This part I'm, I'm not going to share with you guys because it's my, like the journal that I was talking about where I keep track of all kinds of things about how I feel that day. It's kind of a combination of health slash, um, what happened that day and everything like, like if we did anything fun, I'm also going to put in there. Again, Valum from, where is this from? Is this, it's either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Paper pad from Michaels. Freebie from somebody that I forgot. This is just, you could do whatever you want with this. It just has like um, months, like open-ended months and dates and I just keep uh, my due dates for my like different cards and bills and stuff like that. This uh, again, printable Kate. And this is just like different bills and stuff that I'm keeping track of if I paid and when it's due and stuff like that. This is like my budget side of the planner. So again, I'm not gonna share that in detail. With expense tracker, so I'm keeping track of how much I spend. This is mainly kind of on me, not like household related expenses, but how much I spend on myself because I really want to see, I want to be accountable because I feel like I spend a little too much and it's not fair to my husband or Danny. But yeah, I really want to try and keep uh, an expense type of log. This is Capital, what do you call that company? It's like Capital Designs. It's it, in Michaels. It's like a little bookmark. I think it's so cute. It came in a pack of four and it was on sale for a very, very affordable price. Um, this little acetate is from Joann's. It's like a circuit pack that you get like 16 of giant sheets, 12 by 12 for, I got for like around $9.99 or something like that, which is a really good price for acetate. This is Danny's school calendar. And Fridays, for some reason, they made like his classes different. So Friday is a little different. That's why I have like a separate printout for Friday. And this is just like a sticker paper. I print all these inserts and stuff on sticker paper and just glue it on. Then I have, so what do I have in this calendar? Uh, this is like different appointments and stuff. Anything that I need to remember to go to or do. Now this is my general planning. This, is, this substitutes for my Erin Condren, um, basically like life planner. This has my to-do list that I keep kind of have to-do list. I do have these washi tapes that these are, I think are from Erin Condren and then you'll see some from AliExpress also. Like I have um, basically like hours to-do list and then anything like to buy, for example, or uh, if it's a cleaning day, then I have to clean list. Like this is where I get to be really creative with stickers and stuff and I absolutely love it. I also get to use my washi tape, which I have a huge collection of washi tape that I haven't been using much because I have all these kits for Erin Condren, which I still don't know what to do with. I feel like I need to start selling them or something like that, or maybe I'll, I'll go back to Erin Condren at some point, see how it goes. Or even, um, I stopped using my recollections planner for a little bit because I want to see how this goes. I told you guys in some videos that I've been using around 10 planners, which I have been. And while it's been fun, it's also been a little stressful because I felt like I needed to complete each planner each day, which it's a little too much uh, for somebody who works and is homeschooling and has like YouTube channel, Instagram, and uh, like a small business that, you know, Etsy business, it was a little too much. That's why I'm trying to condense everything to this planner 
mm, it's still not working out. I feel like I still need a lot more space. That's why I'm like for future, I might actually go into a five because I actually really like using this planner. I mean, I do like the size though. It's very compact and it fits in my purse. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do you guys, but I really like this so far. Just some, some, some things like examples of how I've been planning. And um, I've been dividing, or this is the first time, this is just the first week that I used this planner basically. And then I put a little divider with um, Vallum from Michael's. Yes, yes. Or Joanne's. And a little bit of like a cardstock from Scribble Prince Co. This washi is from Scribble Prince Co. It came with one of the kits. As you can see, it kind of matches. It, it does have a matching theme. This time I will do, so I left some space for like this week, for example. And I'll do to-do list and then I will do no span. I'll track my sp no span. And then I'll do some other things like important boxes and stuff like that. Things to remember, things to clean. So yeah, kind of spaced out each week. And what I was thinking I'm going to do is, this is again from Scribble Prints Co. I was thinking about, this is just a little cardstock paper from one of the paper pads for Michaels. I'm going to probably do months at a time. So like this whole thing is one month, like October. And then I'll start fresh for everything in the next month. Like for the next, for example, November, I will need a few spaces for my YouTube and Instagram channel and then I'll start November with the same kind of idea the journaling the budgeting and the like different um, to-do lists and all that stuff and YouTube and social media I should say because I kind of, I do have a blog this is from any plants printables it's um, I can't remember what the name of this insert is but I decided to use it like this week off and we have Monday through Friday, which is nice because I generally don't post on weekends at all. Like I'm trying to keep weekends to my family because during the week I am so busy that I feel like I don't spend enough time with Danny, which I feel really bad about. I'm sure I do. My husband says I do. But still, I feel like I, I need more time with him. He's so little. He's only five. And this is such a wonderful age. I'm totally enjoying it. I love it, you guys. I don't know if you can relate to me or not. Like if you had a five-year-old such a wonderful age right now but I do want to spend a little more time with my little man so I'm trying to keep that for weekends and I'm trying to stay away from social media or even like my Etsy shop I'm trying not to do much for it either on weekends and yeah like today we went to play soccer and me my husband and Danny just went out and we just played soccer which I did um, document in my my little journaling and I also documented it here somewhere yeah, like soccer practice you could see I do want to remember that like little things that we do like that I do want to remember so what I also want to do in this planner is write down a list of my YouTube video ideas and um, then I'm going to try and space it out in the weekly uh, little inserts here so I'm gonna leave some space for the week two more or three more weeks I think we have and then I'm gonna start the list in here and then I'm gonna start preparing for each video if I need to like find information or something. For example, I do want to film like top five under five, top five under 10 or top 10 under 10, like my top favorite mascaras and all that stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to link the Iced Allergy where it, like you can find it on Amazon. I bought it on Amazon. I do have to tell you that the links uh, from Amazon are going to be the affiliate links because I, I am like an Amazon associate or something like that. What it means is that I get to collect like a small little percentage from your purchase and then I get to have an Amazon gift card. Um, it's like very small but it's nice. It's still very nice. I, I appreciate it so much like whenever somebody uses my link. I It helps me out like really even though it's not a lot it's still is something and we've been really excited to like receive it each month so yeah i'm just gonna try it and provide all these links to all these things uh, oh that rhymes under uh, the in the description box below and i just realized that i forgot to show you guys what the plain allergy looks like 
again this is washing out a little bit but I cannot find a good spot to focus but you can see like tiny little um, like washed out type of days numbered days and then the names of the days and what months it is and stuff like that so you got to if you want to you can just circle it and that's going to indicate your you know what day you're in or I usually just what I do is just washi tape over it and I put because uh, I kind of want to make it a little more creative on my own and I just put the stickers for these um, days and it's just uh, like a graphing paper oh and also it does have uh, little numbers for hours it starts at 8 and it goes all the way down to 21 which is 9 in like the military time and that's it you guys I'm also going to try and do a flip through of my personal planner setup I just set it up I barely have anything in there like I have not used it yet but it's also going to be like a, a kind of addition to my stylogy where I cannot like if I cannot fit everything in here I'll probably it'll overflow into my personal planner because that's a kind of another part of planning that I really like I really like the rings uh, planning in there because you get to be also really creative and add different things to it and stuff like that um, so yeah thank you so much for watching you guys I truly appreciate you I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later bye